when we grow up, you actually have to start making choices and take responsibility. You can't blame your circumstances. But when you're a child, you get you get to blame your circumstances. You get to point the finger at mommy, at daddy, at your teachers, at everybody else that's controlling you. But at some point, you have to take ownership of all of your decisions. And you can't allow things around you to be the reason why you can't do what you need to do to achieve what's most important to you. This is the G podcast where we focus on family, friendship, finances, freedom, and our future, and everything else. You heard? This is the G podcast. You already know what it is, man. This is the G podcast where we focus on family, friends, finances, freedom, and our future and f- everything else. You heard? This is the G pod. Now, today's show is really going to get into what we were discussing earlier, right? The idea of the most important decision and choice you can make, which I think is so critical because I truly believe in free will. I truly believe in free will. In my opinion, one of the strongest acts of free will that you can have on this planet as a human being is your choice of your partner. Now, that definition of a partner, that's different. It's different for everybody. I can only speak from my perspective, and I know what it's like to have a wife. Does that make me a bad person because my perspective of a partner is with a wife? Does that make my perspective not relevant? That's for you to decide. But the idea of a partner, I know about the idea of a wife for sure. Does what apply to my experience in having a wife apply to your partnership? It may or may not. Wouldn't argue with that at all. But what I say is a matter of fact, and I can only give you my testimony. This is the G podcast. And so this series, it's a pilot before the pilot, is my way of introducing you all to me. I understand that I don't really speak much about myself on social media in certain public contexts, more reserved, but this will be different, fully transparent. This episode is important because the idea of prioritization is so key. To our success. And so the question I really have is why do we not prioritize going after what we say is a priority? Oh, let me just. Blah, blah, blah. Why do we not prioritize going after the things that we say are priorities? I have several examples, but just think about if someone asks you what's your number one priority, just think about that. Then ask yourself, what's number two? This could be anything. It's your priorities, your priorities. In some form or fashion, I can almost bet eight out of 10 people answered something that relates to their family. I can almost bet. And more specifically, not just their family, but their partner or child. I can almost guarantee eight out of 10 people said like it has something to do with either something in that realm I can almost bet. Leave your thoughts in the comments. But what are your top priorities? And then you have to ask yourself, well, if these are really the things that I say are most important to me, why am I not putting these things first over other items? Mm. In my opinion, from my experience, what I found to be the most important decision that I've made was my partner. It has by far played the biggest impact in my life as an adult. And that is where we have to take a step back here because this is not for children. This is for adults. Children won't understand what I'm about to say. Frankly, I would suggest that when you are 20, I would say, especially 23, 24, early 20s, whatever early 20s is, I don't know what we call early 20s, your entire existence from birth to your early 20s, and where you end up 
in this world is largely out of your control. You had no control over your parents, over what they did professionally, over what they invested in you, whether that be an athlete, a musician. It's largely out of your control in terms of your circumstances. Don't have many options. Mm. When we grow up, you actually have to start making choices and take responsibility. You can't blame your circumstances. But when you're a child, you get you get to blame your circumstances. You get to point the finger at mommy, at daddy, at your teachers, at everybody else that's controlling you. But at some point, you have to take ownership of all of your decisions. And you can't allow things around you to be the reason why you can't do what you need to do to achieve what's most important to you. When you're an adult and you allow things to get in the way of your success, it's on you. You allow it. 